So they say life is itself is not a bed of roses and uh, fingers are not equal. To be honest with you, in this uh, particular place where I am, which is London, in the Dockland side of London, the area called Canning Town, it's actually a fast developed area. It's fast developing date. You can see a whole number of new planes, you know, more than, you know, uh, apartments that you can think of and a very lovely neighborhood with a good transport system the canning town station the docklands uh rail railway uh, it's a whole lot around this area but not actually for the rich only to be honest with you uh it is actually a place that has some diversity in terms of uh, even cultures also you know uh and people uh being mixed in this part of london but as you can see, fingers are not really equal. And I'm going to show you why some people are living in all these gorgeous, lovely, lofty, you know, penthouses uh, standing along the docklands. We also see uh, some people who actually cannot afford this, uh, you know, very beautiful uh, kind of uh, uh, housing uh, like this. So, showing you some people actually living under the bridge of this the one behind me here which is uh, uh, the flyover uh, the, of the Canning Town station that very uh, that very bridge are living there under the bridge day and night to be honest with you you'll be shocked to see their lifestyle they have their beddings they have what they you know under this bridge they sleep there day and night this is afternoon you see them relaxing their bedding with their what they use for daily living activities and also at night they live there so <laughs> you're under the bridge of a uh, canning town so like a uh, lagos like a uh, you know they were uh, adults with the lagos you know under the bridge in Uju uh, Elega, as it used to be, even right now in London, 2023, you can still see people sleeping under the bridge. This is London. So this is part of the bridge. It's a walkway. People can walk and take a seat if you like. It provides a more congenial environment for people to take to walk down. Especially if you are going to the Canitown station there, that station there. You go in that side there. So it's make it easy. And we can walk under this uh, bridge and come to the other side. And these are posh apartments. Uh, uh, Rabon Market is really transformed into this posh apartment. But beside is the bridge where people are actually sleeping rough. Uh, under the bridge there. Canning Town. And the construction, reconstruction, and redevelopment is ever going, even 
Uh, a good example is this Hallsville Quarters, which is uh, in the neighborhood of the Canning Town Custom House. So, so many more of it has been built, so many buildings. Uh, just recently, this is completed and it's open as for public use, and, uh, which is called the Brunei, Brunei Street Project. This one here, and uh, it's actually by L and Q and some others. It makes this place very, you know, uh, more profitable and more uh, comfortable and lively to live now in the Dublin area of Canning Town. So more buildings are being constructed, as you can see. The development is going up. But well, is it really affordable to people? Well, that's the question to ask. How many people can afford, you know, to uh, occupy the big uh, apartments, most of them springing up, which is actually uh, the, the big development of the Newham, uh, take this is Newham, London here, uh, the redevelopment, which is fast paced since last 10 years. It's been rigorous redevelopment of the uh, customer, uh, custom house south of the uh, of the borough of the uh, new house. Uh, it's very interesting to see this are part of the E16, basically the post E16, and you can always see a new life, a new London, in this Dublin part of London here. Quite interesting to note that uh, this type of houses, uh, which is uh, you know you call the, the traditional for, uh, style of uh, architecture uh, of houses around uh, uh, most part of London here, this is what was here in this side on the left side here where we are having massive rigorous transformation. This is type of building that was you know on this side before. Well, it's been transformed and continues to be transformed in this area of the Canning Town. So there's so much, a huge expansion of uh, this area through rigorous housing schemes and rigorous housing uh, projects going on. So um, I tell you what, it might take a few more years before these other houses will be transformed into modern houses where we have uh, you know, underground uh, car parking or underground uh, swimming pool or whatever, making life more easier, more comfortable, and actually more than. So, this is it. This is Rathbone House. That's Rathbone House there. And this is the transformation going on the side of it, which used to be the same before. Now, this is the new Canning Town. The future of Canning Town is going to be like this. And it's already happening, as shown in this uh, our future. So, here we are. So, the Halliday Quarter Silver Town Square is called Halliday Quarter 1 Silver Town Square. That's what it's been called. And this is it. In this area, it transforms into this. From Radboom Hood House to the new one. This is the future of the Canning Town, as you expect to see. So I tell you what, it's going to happen definitely. The whole house is going to be transformed. And this is another open space, which was used to be a car park as well. It's also need, will be transformed into another part of construction or the site. Uh, our work is already uh, ongoing. So that's the, the Canning Town as it looks in 2023 in the spring of 2023 this is a 
Lab Banker. This place used to be a market center and they still do marketing there. Uh, I think uh, once in a week. It's a community in Canning Town uh, called Lab Boat. So it's been transformed into nice posh apartments. Uh, and there's more in this area of uh, custom house and Canning Town community neighborhood. There's a center for it just over there. This uh, set of uh, building, lots of apartment here, is actually right on, it used to be a car park, it used to be a free car park area, and now it's been transformed also into different apartments, but it used to be, you know, car park, free parking area before, and now in this uh, neighborhood of uh, Newham, in Cannington here, so it's transformed into modern apartment as well. So there's no usually no uh, free or uh, parking lots. The parking space has been transformed into here. So it is a uh, the neighborhood of a canning town and a custom house, which ultimately leads towards the canning town station. So is the neighborhood of custom house and canning town, and that's. Uh, and uh, under the, when you walk through this narrow space, which is open, which is available for public to walk through in this neighborhood, uh, but not inside the, the uh, apartments. The, the street is called Maud Street. So, um, this is the back of a Rabboom market. The one I show you, the front of the Rabboom market is over there. Both Custom House and Canning Town Community Neighborhood Center. here is an underpass this underpass is just uh, under the 813 motorway 813 motorway and this is the underpass where people can pass you pass through this underpass and you find your way when you pass through this underpass you find your way at the other side of uh, uh, Canning Town there so this is Radbull as you can see the back of Radbull market so I'm taking a walk through this uh, underpass here you see where it leads to this is under the underpass of the 813 motorway in the area of Cannington now this one's just like a Lungu you know what I mean underpass just like a Niger or anywhere any part of the world where we have uh, uh, Lungu like that so as you can see now this is outside this is outside of it this is outside of it and you can see this is outside of that uh, underpass and i want to show you where it leads to you know it's just like a walkway underpass of that uh, uh to find your way from the back of the radbone radbone market and instead of the building here so this is the 813 the 813 motorway so this is the underpass that people take as you can see a young man passing by and uh, the canning town underground car they also have a that's a so where i'll show you before is the under the bridge over there where you can see people actually living under that bridge And this place also just been transformed recently as well. Just at the other side here, which is also right in front of the Canning Town Station. We have a lot of uh, super stores there. We have uh, so many stores like Morrison's, Spray, so many. It's a huge, it's like a kind of another community as well. So, I believe you understand this, the location of this uh, Canning Town Custom House uh, neighborhood here now. and. The shocking revelation is that some people are actually living under this bridge and they live there, uh, I don't believe temporarily because they are probably homeless or unable to find a place to live or they just choose or they just choose to 
to so this place is the Aliceville quarters very nice quarters and these are the people staying there living their life under that uh, under this uh, bridge that we are passing by as you can see just in front uh, beside of this uh, uh, modern uh, quota Alisville quota as you can see them and diversion to parking road as well <laughs> so people walk under this bridge uh, to find their way back to Darad and to towards uh, Canningtown station so let's take a tour of the red part of Canningtown uh, towards the along the backing road towards the McDonald. There is a community link, so a kind of community link to the center, kind of a, a community resource center. Nice gym going on here. Wow. It's a nice uh, gym group. You want to join the uh, uh, gym? It's got some modern equipment here yeah, for your routine of gym activities. This is uh, really coming out of the gym shop. The gym group. The gym group. Now let's explore this uh, edifice uh, just in front of the, um, on a, uh, by the side of the on the Canningtown uh, uh, station. The gym group still extends to this side of the one. It's a very big one. They call it the gym group. Very massive gym center. You know? What's yeah. This? Yeah, we also have this Ibis Hotel, even right. And it's very close towards the Canningtown station. Just in front of the Canningtown station is this uh, Ibis Hotel. And there uh, is also some other shopping area here. 